In this video, I will show you how we can use pop-ups in our systems. Uh, this is my service studio. I have an application called Customers with one module Customers in it. Uh, the module consists of two entities in there. One is customer with these attributes and other one is comment. The idea is the customer entity can have some comments for it. So for that, we'll quickly do the data modeling by associating customer to the comment entity. And thereafter, we'll move on to the uh, main flow side and build the standard listing and detail screen for customer. Now we're using the platform scaffolding here, which allows us to quickly create screens by dragging and dropping entities here. What we have inside now is a listing page for customer. I'm going to just leave it as it is. And I also have the jail page. Now this is where I'm going to do most of my work. Now, first of all, let me set this page for, you know, uh, displaying the comments first. So what I will do is whatever comments are getting added, those comments will be displayed next to the customer information just by drawing and dropping. Now in this case, uh, the platform already got the comments here in this query. Let me just make sure everything is okay. Here's a filter for customer ID, looks okay. Uh, there's a bit more information on the screen, like the customer name, we don't need it because you know we are on the customer detail, we know who this customer is. So we'll get rid of it. Uh, this thereafter, we'll focus on the uh, pop-up. Now for working on the pop-up, first of all, I need to create a local variable, let's say I call it is pop. This is the field, this is the uh, boolean field with which the pop-ups uh, will be tied to. It will control whether it is being shown or hidden. So let's say by default it is set to false. And thereafter what we are going to do is use the pop-up widget. Okay, So it's here on the widget uh, uh, bar here. And maybe I can drag and drop this in the footer somewhere. Now, working on the pop-up could be tricky because you have both the screens behind and the pop-up on over it. This is where uh, something that I personally like is a widget tree. It helps me in uh, working on the pop-ups uh, quite quite easily. So, the next thing we're going to do on pop-up is add a form. If I drag and drop this here, you will see how the screen in the background is also highlighted. If I drop it here, you can see that it goes behind, right? Which is what I don't want. So, let me just undo this. Uh, to get over this problem, what I'm going to do is use the widget tree. So if you can see when I mouse over here, the pop-up here in the widget tree is also highlighted. I can drop it there. And inside this form now, we will be dragging and dropping the, uh, uh, the, the comments. So for that to be done, what we'll do is under customer detail, we'll add a local variable called comment. Make sure the name is same as the entity name so that we can get this structure automatically and then we can put this comment uh, entity inside the form now again uh, we cannot drop it here we'll be using the widget tree and now the platform has automatically built a pop-up like the form for us uh, with a bit more information i think i can set the time automatically and customer as i told you earlier we already have on the screen so we don't have to ask the user for it so for that, let me do a bit more cleanup. So I'll get rid of the date time container and I'll get rid of the customer container. Looks okay. Now what we're going to do next is uh, specify the logic for saving. Now this is where the form is complete. First of all, we'll set those uh, like date time and the uh, customer. So we'll use assignment operator to set the variable saying the comment dot date time is equals to current date time okay and comments dot customer id is equals to the customer id on the page okay also good and thereafter we are going to use the uh, comment current operation here create or update maybe to create the comment and the source will be the screen variable comment that we have created earlier which is the one tied to the form on the pop-up right let's do it and thereafter, what we can do is refresh the data on the page so that the comments, you know, behind the scenes, which are coming in by this query can get refreshed. And what is left for me to do is now uh, work on the showing and hiding of this. So this one, pay attention. Uh, so for now, this is pop is the Boolean field is there, but it's not tied to the pop up, right? 
So what we're going to do first is select the pop-up. You can use both the widget tree or the navigation flow here and tie it to the field. Okay, it appears next to the show pop-up as a property. Tie it to the is pop and this will uh, you know, uh, associate the pop-up with the boolean field. Now what we're going to do also is when somebody is creating the new comment right after the comment has been added we'll also turn the flag to false okay so is pop will again become false now what is left for us to do is the last piece is to display the pop-up when somebody wants to add a comment right so for that when you highlight the the pop-up right here you also have this display and hit in case you want to work on the screen behind you can hide it like collapse it and work on the screen behind so in this case let me add a button that launches the pop-up here I'll rename this to add comment okay basically in the click of this button which is like this what I will just do is uh, play with the uh, is pop field and turn this to true so this will make our pop-up appear where the user can key his comment and when he clicks on the save uh, the comment will be saved in database it will refresh the query that is tied to this part and it will collapse the, uh, the pop-up afterwards let's go ahead and publish it while it's publishing let me summarize what we have done is uh, comments are for customers these comments are displayed next to the customer field here thereafter we've added a pop-up okay the pop-up has a form that allows users to uh, create the comment which is tied to uh, the comment field here okay and the pop-up showing and hiding is controlled via is pop boolean field our application is ready go ahead and see how does it look customer listing page looks fine and the detail page so this is where in the beginning we don't have any comments right and if you click on add comment our pop-up appears Add the comment save we got the output I mean we get the comment in here and the pop-up it, it collapsed and we can use it to create more and more comments in here so maybe this is the second comment save and that's how it goes about it thanks